Good morning. It's one of those mornings where I just woke up. It's damn early in the morning and I started thinking. And in that process, I'm in my bathrobe again. So there we go. But the thing that I want to talk about right now, which is quite important, I don't think that people truly, un I don't think that you truly understand what type of buyer. Bitcoin has stages just like any asset, right? Like first you have the early adopters, then you've got the speculators, then you've got the people that, you know, see a long-term vision and then finally like the, the people that will just never let go, right? So Bitcoin has these stages as well, stages of buyers. And most of the buyers that you're listening to at this moment in time, this is a very, very interesting moment in time because you are now during, I, I believe anyway, each cycle brings an inflection of buyers. Like there's a change, there's a, there's a drastic shift of what type of buyer there is for Bitcoin. And that's a very important thing to pay attention to. Because if you're not paying attention to that, you will let go of your Bitcoin at a, at a low price. So I believe that the next buyer of Bitcoin, the one that will force you to sell your Bitcoin for 500000 to a million dollars a coin, you got a good return, have a good life, enjoy yourself, you did really well, pat yourself on the back because you're a moron. That's what they're actually thinking. The next buyer of Bitcoin, the one that is emerging, transitioning from the last cycle to, to, to this coming cycle, is more of what Michael Saylor is, is more of, to a certain extent, what I am, but I'm coming at it from a much you know, uh, lesser um, financial shooting power than MicroStrategy, for example. But it's, I'm talking more here about mindset than anything else. You know, for me, when I think about myself owning Bitcoin, I have no reason to sell Bitcoin. I have no reason to ever think about selling my Bitcoin. I have no reason to ever even contemplate, you know, uh, needing to do anything with my Bitcoin. And that is the buyer that you are facing at this point. You know, wisdom comes with experience. And I believe that the next buyer of Bitcoin is much more what the Bitcoin community likes to call diamond handed, someone who just holds on and never lets go, um, than most self-proclaimed Bitcoin maxis that you see on, on YouTube and Twitter and everywhere else today. I, I, just, I just fundamentally believe that. These people that are coming in will never ever let go because they don't need to sell. They're coming with wisdom. They've fucked up so many cycles of different asset classes in their lives. They know they've been through property. They've been through the stock market. They've been through all these things and they've messed up. And that pain of messing up, do you know how much it hurts when you mess something up? When you are in the investment world and you mess something up, do you know how much that hurts? And there's two directions that people go in. Either you go in the direction of, screw this, I'm never going to do this again. Or you go in the direction of, I'm going to figure this out. And then once you figure it out, you are never going back. You are never, ever going back. These people that are coming in now have already messed up. Some people in the Bitcoin space, the Bitcoin maxi space, this is their first opportunity to mess up. So when they see something, when they see, you know, Bitcoin go to a million dollars, and let's say they've been blessed enough to acquire 10 Bitcoin because they bought very early on, they'll say, hey, Bitcoin go went to a million dollars. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell some and, and enjoy myself. So now you sell $2 million worth of Bitcoin um, to enjoy yourself. Uh, and you will never, ever, 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 never see that Bitcoin ever again. Because the buyers now are not, you know, you and I. You and I are trying to, at this point, catch up, right? If you have been a property investor for 35 years, make no mistake, hear me clearly, you are behind the eight ball here. You are behind. You are catching up. 
that's what you're doing. And at least if you have assets, you have the opportunity to catch up. You might be able to acquire one Bitcoin, two Bitcoins, three Bitcoins. That's it. Everyone else is behind and they have to try as hard as they can to catch up at this point. And especially now when you factor in this new buyer, it's, it's going to get really tight. We're already, we're, so we're facing a new buyer. We're facing the lowest amount of Bitcoin on exchanges in, 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 in a long, very, very long time. We're facing an increasing hodl rate. Uh, and the U.S. is getting friendlier for Bitcoin and an ETF is about to come out. This is no joke time. Like this is, this is not a moment for entertainment. You are behind the eight ball and you need to get in front of it. So, you know, these people, this new buyer, when I think about this new buyer, this new buyer has experienced pain. They have experienced messing up, right? They will, they have realized how the Federal Reserve works. They understand that once you buy scarce assets, you never let them go. They understand, they don't understand this just like conceptually, which is what I hear a lot of uh, Bitcoiners talk about. They understand this from the pain of their wallet being hurt, which is a different type of wisdom. I don't care what anyone says. That's a different, when you understand, when you lose money because you made a mistake, that is a different type of wisdom that you cannot read in a book, you cannot read on Twitter, you can't read anyway. It's a different type of wisdom. I'm not saying I'm discrediting the wisdom of anyone uh, you know, who's saying they'll never sell their Bitcoin, but it's different. It's just different. You just, you just, it, it is just different. And you have to respect that. You have to respect that. This is why old money always wins. Old money always wins. And now there's old money buyers coming into this market. There's old money buyers coming into this market and they will acquire that Bitcoin and they will put it into cold storage and they will never ever, you will never ever see it again. They will buy that ETF BlackRock will hold the Bitcoin for them. They will borrow money against their Bitcoin when they need it. And you will never, ever see that Bitcoin ever again. So if you're someone who is sitting here in the Bitcoin space going, you know what, I might sell some Bitcoin because, you know, I think the cycle is going to come down and et cetera, et cetera. All the other, all the other, all the other uh, short term thinking ideologies. There is a chance that you never, ever see that Bitcoin ever again. And if Bitcoin, you know, is your first. And by the way, there's a lot of people watching this video who are what I'm saying, right? You might be in property now, but there's something that you messed up. There might be a deal you messed up. There might be an opportunity you messed up. And you can never, ever get over that. The, the PTSD of of not making the right decision, especially if you went on to become successful. If you just went on to lose because you couldn't handle the pressure of that, that's different. But if you went on to become successful, like for me, I messed up 2008. I completely and utterly screwed up 2008. It was my first ever equity and credit cycle. I didn't understand what the hell was going on. Uh, and I was scared out of the market. I completely messed it up. And yeah, I made money along the way, but I had to wait until 2020. 12 years I had to wait until I felt like I redeemed myself based on the cycle that happened in 2020. And I was lucky because along that way, I didn't give up. I prepared. I, I stayed ready. I made money. And I prepared that money to be executed the next time something like that came around. And it came around. So imagine if I had been through 2008, messed up, and then went through 2020 and messed up again. I would not be able to live with myself. I would not be able to forgive myself. So I was extra sharp when the government started talking about all these things. And you think I'm the only one? I'm not the only one. There's many people that are in this world who have missed opportunities, gone on to become successful, and think about that one opportunity they missed 
almost every day. It is in the back of their minds because they cannot stand it. They cannot stand missing out on that one opportunity. I know what that's like. I'm there. I'm there. Even though I, even though I feel uh, that I redeemed myself after the 2020 cycle, after missing 2008, that 2008 lesson sits there in the back of my mind. Back of my mind sits there quietly chirping away because it keeps me sharp. It keeps me sharp. So understand this. In this cycle now onwards, you are, if this is, and also if this is your first wealth opportunity, which is Bitcoin, you are not battling shit coins. You are not battling the SEC. You are not battling anything else. You're battling true diamond handed old money with wisdom, experience, along with the tools and the ability to never, ever let go of Bitcoin. They understand what it means to let go of an asset because they've messed up. They understand what it means to hold on to assets for a long period of time because they've become successful. They understand that there's market volatility and not to get, not to get sucker punched by market volatility. And they have the tools, the financiers, the backers to be able to borrow the Bitcoin, borrow money against the Bitcoin at a better rate than you will ever be able to do and to, and to stay in the market no matter what. That is who is coming in uh, into this market these are the new these new bitcoin buyers are the true predators of wealth just look at who is going to be who's going to be the customer of that etf they're here now and you have to be careful you have to be careful these guys are the predators you are the small fish and they will give you half a million a million dollars for your Bitcoin all day, all day they'll give it to you because they understand the true value of true scarcity. So get mentally prepared. This is a slightly different video. This is about mental preparedness for what's about to happen. Because if Bitcoin goes to 500,000, a million dollars a coin within the next you know, eight years, you have to prepare yourself right now because you won't be able to prepare yourself in the moment. You have to get ready right now. And it is, it is on the way. Because when you think about how much money, just go watch some of my other videos. When you think about how much, how much money is coming into these markets with the ETF launch, with everything else. I'm going to do another video where I deep dive into, into why this ETF is extremely important. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But... These new Bitcoin buyers are what your competition is, not the person you're talking to on Twitter, not the person you're watching on, on YouTube. And I'm saying that while including myself in that, right? The next buyer that you're dealing with has had a hundred million dollar uh, property portfolio and they're now transitioning 5% of that or a trillion dollar fund that you don't even know about from some other part of the world that is now going to start allocating into this ETF once it's approved. These are the true diamond-handed old money predators who are coming with wisdom, with experience, and along with the tools and the connections and the ability to never ever let go of their Bitcoin. This is a very, very serious tide shift. And most importantly, absolutely most importantly, they understand the three rules of Bitcoin. Step number one, you buy Bitcoin. Step number two, you shut the fuck up. And step number three, you get fabulously wealthy. Have a beautiful morning.